um, I'm Dylan Parry. Um, I filmed and produced the, uh, the winning Why Wales video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching it and I hope uh, that you found it an authentic account of what it's like to be a GP here in North Wales. Um, tomorrow I've got quite a hectic day ahead of me. Uh, I'm due to go down to London mid-morning to attend an official award ceremony at the House of Lords, so very much looking forward to that. I'm now down uh, here on the beach in Abigail, where I live, having been up there in uh, Great Castle Woods, where I shot the earlier scenes. Um, I count myself very lucky, really, to be working uh, and living where I am here in North Wales. I wouldn't choose to work anywhere else. Um, yes, life is uh, pretty tough at the moment as a GP uh, anywhere in the UK, and we all know that general practice is, is under-resourced. Uh, however, there's a lot to be said for working here in Wales, uh, and I would urge anybody with an interest in general practice to have a think about coming here to work, and if you're not already in general practice training, uh, to consider that, and consider it especially uh, here in North Wales. Uh, it's just gone ten past seven, um, it's a lovely day outside, and um, I'm going to be popping into work this morning um, to do some paperwork before travelling down to London uh, for the awards ceremony. And maybe I could uh, tell you a little bit about some other GP surgeries in the area, including the one where I'm registered as a patient here in Abigail uh, on the way down to, to London. This surgery uh, looks after about 11,000 patients. Um, we practice from a uh, modernised uh, modernized building in Old Colwyn. Uh, it's been tastefully done, so it's quite a nice environment to, to work in. Um, there's eight of us working as doctors here. Um, seven of us are partners. Uh, one is a salary GP. Uh, we've got six nurses, one of them being an advanced nurse practitioner. Uh, we've got HCAs. Got CPN coming in, uh, dietitian, midwives come in and do clinics here. Um, as I uh, mentioned in my uh, Why Wales video, uh, we're a training practice, so both uh, Dr Emma Ratchford and myself are, are trainers and education supervisors. Uh, Dr Tom Lansbury, uh, who's uh, one of our newest GPs here, he's um, looking after our medical students, so we, we uh, train medical students from Liverpool uh, University. Um, we actually find training uh, very rewarding, um, as people often say, it keeps you on your toes, you're always learning something new, uh, and it's, it's good to have fresh faces at the surgery uh, with new ideas. Uh, and it's also quite rewarding seeing the, the trainees uh, go on and develop and become uh, independent uh, clinicians themselves. In terms of uh, local facilities, uh, we're quite fortunate in that the um, local community hospital is literally within a mile uh, down the road. Um, it's got inpatient beds, uh, it's got physiotherapy, radiology uh, department, uh, OT. Uh, it's also got a, a, an unit next door to the hospital called the uh, Brain Hesketh Hospital, um, which, or the Brain Hesketh Unit rather, uh, which is a specialist centre. Uh, for, for the elderly with psychiatric problems and uh, dementia and so forth. Uh, we've got uh, other hospitals nearby such as uh, Shandidna Hospital. There's a, a very good new minor injury service uh, located in that hospital. Uh, so we've got three main large hospitals if you like in North Wales. Uh, Aspetic Gwynedd uh, on the west side Splitting land fluid uh, in the centre, which is the one that we tend to feed into, uh, and uh, Rexham Maylor Hospital uh, in the east. And when this competition came along, I thought it was an ideal uh, opportunity really to try and publicise um, the area. 
there's been a lot of uh, positive feedback uh, from the video uh, and surprisingly some of that feedback uh, has also come from established uh, GPs in this area. So I'm going to be uh, meeting with my partners here in a minute just to have a, have a coffee and then um, I'm going to be popping down to Colwyn Bay to catch um, the train down to London. So hopefully I'll be down in London um, at around lunchtime. So see you down there. This part um, of North Wales is where I practice uh, as a GP, so this is um, the seafront in Old Colwyn. So we're now coming back um, towards um, Abergele, where I live. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, a glorious day uh, for travelling down to London. Um, so in Abergele itself, um, there's a very modern and newly built GP surgery uh, catering for somewhere around 15, 16,000 patients. Uh, so that surgery was actually built um, in the last five years or so. So we're now coming into uh, Trail. So here we are, this is uh, Clarence Medical Centre, which is a purpose-built GP surgery in Trail. Uh, very modern facilities. We're now uh, travelling towards uh, the town of Pristatin, uh, which is the next town along the um, North Wales coastline eastwards um, from Trail. Um, some of you may have learned recently that uh, the GP surgery in, in Pristatin, the main surgery there, uh, along with one of the smaller ones, have handed in their GMS uh, contract to the health board. Uh, and that's given the opportunity to try out uh, an innovative um, uh, practice model um, based on prudent healthcare, uh, which is being led by uh, Dr. Chris Stockport, um, who used to G be a GP in this area. Um, so the practice will be covering around 22,000 uh, patients altogether and will be based uh, eventually at one centre right in the, in the town centre. And part of the plan is to have an academy uh, attached to the uh, development that will, that will train uh, healthcare professionals. So I think we're, we're getting into um, the town of Pristatin now. As you see, it's uh, located uh, in a very nice spot. Um, again, very convenient uh, railway links and uh, transport links to the A55. And um, all around, nice place to to live, really. Um, the beach here in Pristatin uh, historically has been a massive uh, attraction with uh, holidaymakers. Just uh, arriving in London Euston, um, today's travel time was 2 hours 50, uh, which is of course excellent um, given where I started this morning and uh, emphasises the easy accessibility of places like London uh, to where I live and work in North Wales. Now, I think most uh, people who've actually travelled down by train to London will be familiar with uh, Euston's uh, plaza. Um, but many people, including GPs, won't be familiar with where the Royal College of General Practitioners headquarters is uh, here in London. Of course, I'm here down. I'm here down in London today for um, an RCGP Wales uh, event. Uh, but I thought I'd take you just down the road to the RCGP uh, headquarters, um, where, if you like, the nerve centre of uh, our professional uh, body as GPs uh, is uh, in the UK. So, um, as I said earlier, this is uh, London Euston, and this is uh, Euston Square. And if we just pan 180 degrees, there we are.
here we are. That's the um, Royal College of General Practitioners and its headquarters. Um, so really, um, GPs in North Wales should have no worries about uh, access to the college headquarters. So I'm just going to pop in just to show you a little bit about what it looks like inside. Thanks. Now, some of you might know that um, this is also where general practitioners or potential general practitioners have to come uh, to sit what we call the CSA exam, which is the uh, Clinical Skills Assessment Examination. Uh, and there's a specially built um, part of this college headquarters um, where the exams are currently taking place. I think this is a good uh, opportunity to remind us that uh, decisions with regards to healthcare in Wales and particularly general practice uh, are not made in this building but they're made uh, by the Welsh Assembly Government uh, because of devolution uh, in Wales. So the aim of today really is to try and celebrate uh, what's good about general practice in Wales and try and publicise that outside Wales uh, and maybe have a few discussions with uh, our colleagues in the Royal College of General Practitioners um, at the House of Lords later on about how best to, to promote general practice not only in Wales but across the UK. I've just um, come across the uh, RCGP uh, Wales delegates and it's great to meet them um, and put faces to the names and uh, they just uh, happened to bump into uh, Lord Neil Kinnock outside the House of Lords so he's uh, escorted us in. Thank you very much for coming today, thank you particularly to Hannah for hosting us. Um, Wales is a great place to live and work, we've got amazing countryside, vibrant cities and the best features in the world. Um, but with the majority of UK doctors training in England or Scotland, uh, many never get the chance to experience all that Wales has got to offer. At RCGP Wales, we've been working with Welsh Government and other partners to promote and celebrate all that Wales has to offer. And as part of this overall strategy, we launched our own Recruit Your Own GP campaign, the Why Wales video competition, with the aim of raising the profile of the benefits of living and working in Wales as a GP. This competition was overseen by Dr. Ron Morgan, RCGP Wales Membership Officer, supported by Tony Lawrence and Iwan Petiti. And I'm so grateful to you guys for taking this from concept into reality. None of it would have happened without all your hard work. Okay, thank you. The competition started earlier this year with invites to numerous GP groups in Wales and associated organisations such as health boards and machinery, together with schools, colleges and university departments across Wales. The remit of the competition was to develop a video, up to three minutes long, which depicts Wales or a community in Wales as a great place to live and work as a GP. Over the course of the two months the competition was open, five entries were submitted, each of which was unique and represented different views of our country and communities. Rob chose the judges on the basis they represented a wide range of backgrounds, GPs based in Wales, England, Canada and Australia, locums and partners, patient and workforce representatives and school students from Bishop of Landau School in Cardiff. And the criteria for judging stipulated judges were looking for a video that was unique to Wales, demonstrated positives about a good work-life balance and left the viewer feeling good about Wales as a nation. So I'm absolutely delighted to announce the winner, Dr Dylan Parry, who is here today from Old Colwyn in Conway. And Dylan's video depicts why being a GP in Conway, North Wales, is such a good career move. So congratulations to them, very well deserved. So we're going to show the video now. Um, I think you'll all agree it is wonderful. My name's Dalan Parry. Um, I'm a GP in Old Colwyn. I've been there for 17 years now and I'm also a, a trainer. Um, so in this video I'm hoping that I can give you a taste of what it's like to be a, a GP here in North Wales.
Thank you, Dylan, for such a great video. And this has been extensively viewed on YouTube and, and has been disseminated through um, social media really across the UK. And we hope that we'll bear that street. for uh, hosting us today and for doing the prize giving. I'd like to invite you up and Sam, you've got some words to say and then uh, to Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well, it's a real pleasure to be here today and I fell in love with Cardiff. I must have been about eight. I sure. subsequently went did my master's at the University of Wales uh, in nursing and um, the politics and uh, economics of healthcare. So I have kept up in Wales uh, quite the way through I am absolutely supportive of uh, Wales as a country and I'm slightly jealous looking at your brilliant vision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. The excellent yeah. uh, uh, working environment that you've got and particularly your argument in it that you've got good access to community facilities and hospitals um, as a GP in terms of the patient population you serve. Because I don't think all GPs in the rest of the United Kingdom would be able to articulate that as well. Uh, quite apart from the obvious, fantastic um, external environment and schools that you have in Wales, which I know a great deal about. I actually thought um, that if I were a young GP, and possibly, I mean, I am really proud of being a nurse, but the entrance to medical school is very different to when I was younger, and in those days you really had to be top of science. And I was never top of science, I was very good at the humanities. Um, and I wonder how many women in your uh, video will also appear to who are wanting a work life balance in general practice, and I think it really will. So I can really understand why you've won, and I'm delighted that you're here today in the House of Lords to celebrate such an important innovation. So if you'd like to come forward, Dylan, I'd love to um, give you this. Oops. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your kind words. Um, I think you would like to say a couple. Yeah, I certainly would like to say a short word. Um, um, can I thank... Uh, Rebecca for having the um, motivation really to push this through and obviously uh, Rob for his uh, hard work with it um, and of course all the office uh, but I know it, you know as an RCP chair uh, in Wales it does take you know the chair to sort of back something and you've certainly backed this um, where maybe some other people wouldn't have backed such a, a competition and thank you to the gentleman you mentioned that came up with the idea really, because I'm, I'm all for things like this. I think they're, they're, there's power in social media in terms of um, actually doing the video. It was very easy work for me really. Um, you know, I didn't have to think hard at all about the, the concepts I wanted to promote. In fact, it was more difficult to leave stuff out. Um, so there was a, frankly so, there was a three minute um, restriction on, on the actual um, length of the video. Which is good because that you know, evidence shows that videos don't get watched if they're much longer than that. But the difficulty for me was leaving stuff out, and you find that there's been uh, quite a few iterations of of the video, and there's stuff I would like to put in there um, that I didn't. For example, I met um, the deputy chief constable for North Wales Police last weekend. Um, I was dropping the boys off um, uh, with something, and, and he said, "Oh, I loved your video." <laughs> and he said, oh, th thank you very much. And he said, why didn't you mention, you know, the fact that we've got the lowest crime rate? In a sense, it's sort of justifying using psychological theory, if you like, in, in generating the video. Um, so I think the lesson is, if, if I or anybody else was doing a video again, I think uh, it's short and sweet, probably works a bit better. Great. Thank you very much to everybody for attending today. I'm going to the trouble to, to have me here. <laughs> Thank you again for a wonderful video. <laughs> We're hoping to make it an annual event, so maybe next year you can put in more than the wall stuff you have to leave out. <laughs> and there's still room in Wales for surgeons and nurses. <laughs>
But then we'll suggest you, why don't you crowdsource your video? Because yeah. there's massive evidence behind uh, community-based recruitment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought, why not? So we'll open it up to the population of Wales yeah. and hopefully get loads of videos, try and um, yeah. get them distributed on social media. Yeah. And for this probably one, we'll hopefully have 20. Um, and a real opportunity to share what general practice is yeah, like. of course. So are you, are you glad you've done it? I am over the moon. <laughs> yes, I think the video is just amazing. And actually, much. the other videos were amazing. Yeah, no, and that's great. I think we've got such a wonderful resource. I think it's got communities talking about general practice yes. and what can they do. And I think it's given us all a sense that there are things we can do to pull GPs over. We're not just reliant on yeah. them. So those criteria we put into a grid, which all the judges scored independently, right, and your video hit all those by, by far. If it's if it's any reflection, despite all that criteria and all that. Yeah. I showed my mother all the videos. Right. No okay. judging criteria. <laughs> with no preemptive, yeah. no chat. Yeah. And she selected your straight. Oh, fantastic. So fantastic. I think all the uh, high tech grids and working out. Yeah. Yeah. It was all about simplicity, you know, being able to visualise the whole picture, if you like, and, and uh, the cons conceptual nature of the video. So I was quite keen to promote just certain concepts uh, and not, not overcomplicate matters, really. So, yeah, I'm glad it worked. And I think it did work because the story unfolded. Yes. And you came to the end thinking, wow, and then you were just left with that really peaceful scene yes. over yes. that valley. Yes. And then I'm obviously the credits. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Like, so I think that worked. You know, it's not like it built and it added on to itself yeah. and more and more reasons appeared. But then it, it culminated and just, okay, so what do you think of that? Yeah, yeah. I guess that was very much in my mind and I thought quite long and hard about how to end it and um, you know the, the concept for me was the perfect match.